Asymptotic freedom is a concept in quantum chromodynamics, QCD, which is the theory describing the strong force that governs the behavior of quarks and gluons within hadrons, such as protons and neutrons. Asymptotic freedom was a groundbreaking discovery in the field of particle physics and is a key feature of QCD. The concept was developed by physicists David Gross, Frank Vilcek, and David Pulitzer, who were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2004 for their contributions. Asymptotic freedom refers to the phenomenon where quarks and gluons, the fundamental constituents of protons, neutrons, and other strongly interacting particles, behave as if they experience weaker forces at shorter distances or higher energies. In simple terms, as quarks and gluons come closer together, the force between them becomes weaker. Key points about asymptotic freedom include 1. Distance and energy dependence. At very short distances or high energies, quarks and gluons experience weak interactions. This is in contrast to the behavior of particles governed by electromagnetic forces, where forces become stronger as charged particles approach each other. 2. Confinement. Asymptotic freedom is related to the phenomenon of confinement, which means that quarks and gluons are never observed as free particles in isolation but are always confined within larger particles called hadrons. 3. Running coupling constant. The strength of the strong force is characterized by a parameter known as the coupling constant. In QCD, the coupling constant is not a fixed value but depends on the energy scale of the interaction. Asymptotic freedom implies that the coupling constant decreases as the energy scale increases. 4. Perturbative calculations. Asymptotic freedom allows physicists to use perturbative methods for calculating interactions at high energies. This means that calculations can be made using a series expansion, with successive terms becoming smaller, making the calculations more tractable. The discovery of asymptotic freedom provided a theoretical foundation for understanding the behavior of quarks and gluons within hadrons and contributed significantly to the development of the standard model of particle physics. It also had implications for the understanding of the early universe, particularly in the context of the strong force during the quark-gluon plasma phase shortly after the Big Bang. Subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.